Well, I'm telling you, this band is coming along. This is not, yeah. We're, Very we're, nice. Nice to have you guys here tonight. It's nice to have some guest artists yeah. from Woodstock joining us this evening. Uh, our next Sorry. guest uh, was named by Rolling Stone magazine as the hot sportscaster of 1987, but not hot enough, apparently, to be assigned to the Pan Am Games in Indianapolis. <laughs> Folks, please welcome our good friend, Marv Albert. Hey, Marv. Marv. Good to see you, Marv. See you. Very impressive. Thank you. Nice little photo of you there and a Very towel nice. in the uh, next typical locker room. Shot in the, uh, yeah, yeah, typical shot. That was actually for my, for my work uh, in organizing the Pan American Games. <laughs> How are they going, by the way? Does anybody get a medal count? I read at one point where they stopped issuing a medal count because they couldn't uh, get it to add up. We in the sports department have been calling sports phone every 15 minutes. <laughs> try and uh, check it out. Incidentally, I enjoyed the segment success. with uh, Kristen uh, Lover. Uh, it reminds me kind of of the fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco, mm -hmm. as a youngster. Uh -huh. Similar type of... Uh, Fine. I'll give him directions <laughs> to your home. Yeah. All right, Marv. Yeah. Let's go. Here we go. Uh, it's, uh, I understand you got a great batch tonight from yes. the Wild and... From, how does that go? The wild and the Wacky. From the Wild and the Wacky yes, in over baseball. the past uh, couple of right. months since we The missed Albert Achievement Awards. Last month, right. It's compiled by our crack staff. We open up, Dave, as you know, uh, with the most compelling interview of uh, the past right. month. Here it is. Here Dodger is. manager Tom Lasorda. Mm -hmm. Here we go. You can't get them in if you don't get them on. I'd rather get them on and not get them in than not get them on and not get them in. Well, here are the best defensive plays of the month. Off this long drive, five foot eight inch, Kirby Puckett to the wall for a spectacular Ooh. catch. Now, how about this fly ball? It's Kirby again, this time through a maze of seagulls <laughs> in Toronto. <laughs> Kirby able to battle his way. Best hand-eye coordination. Denny Walling of Houston had it all the way, and he throws out Reed Nichols. Good play. Best attempts the past month. Off the line drive foul, the Mets ball girl taking it on scheduled foul. <laughs> At Yankee Stadium, a fan going for the souvenir shows his swan dive ability, not appreciated by the security guard. <laughs> Now, here's a bouncer up the middle, Mark McLemore of the Angels with a throw, not quite there. Meanwhile, back at Shea, the Mets ball girl still has this problem. Oh. And we had our share of embarrassing moments, Frank Williams of the Reds with a neat pickoff move. Yo! Leading to chaos. Neil Allen of the White Sox with a pitch that kind of got away. <laughs> Then there was the hot shot up the middle. Umpire Mike Riley with a nice stop. Ooh! Oh, God! Deion James of the Braves warming up with a weighted bat, getting ready. The bat disintegrates. Wow. Here is the most intriguing slide of the season. Terry Francona of Cincinnati. And he's tagged out. Travel of Detroit line shot Toronto's Jesse Barfield apparently lost it in the lights. <laughs> now check out this pop fly providing a facial for Steve Sachs. Ooh, geez. And how about this bouncer to first Minnesota's Ken Herbeck did not have this in mind. Oh, good night. Yankee manager Lou Pinella sacrificing a stick of gum as he goes nose to nose. <laughs> then there was the bunt by Dan Gladden of Minnesota. Kevin Seitzer of the Royals giving it a go. Attempts to blow the ball into foul territory. Nice try. We close with pitching problems during a pregame television interview at Errant. Batting practice throw created a bit of a surprise for Joe Negro. Mm. Now watch the pitcher, Fernando Valenzuela, on the attempted steal. He intercepts the catcher's throw. <laughs> And how about this confusion on the toss back to Dwight Gooden from both catcher Gary Carter and the plate umpire. Now there you have it, the wild and the white. Pretty nice. Thank you. You got, uh... Uh, tell me about, do you have a new partner for the football season? Yes, uh, a fellow by the name of Joe Willie Namath. Oh, that'd be good. And I'm really excited about it. In fact, uh... We were up at the Giants uh, training camp today. We're doing the Giants-Jets uh, preseason game on NBC next uh, Saturday. And uh, Joe is standing around, and it's uh, amazing how he can pick things up. We're watching the practice, and he says, you know, 
Arena football has nothing on this game. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. And you guys will make your debut a week from right. Saturday? We're doing a pra actually, we're doing practice a Browns-Giants game, game uh, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. This was the brainchild of uh, NBC uh, Sports Executive To do the producer, practice. Mike Weissman, who wrote us the Silent Minute. Oh, and I remember the Silent Minute, The 10-minute sure. ticker, which, uh, did they tell you? <laughs> I remember that. Have they told you gone? about the 10-minute ticker? Is no, it no, it's not gone. It'll be back. back, but as an extra added feature, uh, starting in prime time at NBC, it will be seen throughout all shows between 8 o'clock. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> you're never that. 10 We got to go, Marv. 10 I'm minutes sorry. away from a Marv Albert. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. We'll be back with Todd Rundgren.